What on earth has happened to mobile ads, man? They were already horrible to deal with, but nowadays they're horrendous. And I'm sure I'm not alone in this matter. So with that, I present to you a list of the types of mobile ads I've seen and why they've got to go. Who got the idea that it would make sense to record someone being either bloody stupid or intentionally crap at a game and then use that clip as a selling point for the game? Why would you do that? Who made up that trend? Listen, the reason I have ever downloaded a mainstream mobile game is purely because of the satisfaction you get when you complete a level. All this does is get on my nerves. And I assume the motive they're going for is, haha, you don't get your satisfying ending. Now you have to download it. See, you could do that, or you could just show us a satisfying ending so that we'd naturally be encouraged to download it. Why was that not considered? And as if that wasn't annoying enough, they put these stupid titles like 99% of people can't finish this level Well, I'm not bloody surprised. With the way you wankers make these ads, 99% of people want to kill themselves after not receiving the satisfaction they expected. And now, by putting in these titles, it means that not only are they too stupid to finish the level, but so am I, by the looks of things, until I download the game and prove them wrong. You sneaky little snake. Do you think you're clever? Crackhead. When you're advertising a game, what would you say is the number one thing you should consider? Exactly. Regardless of what you're advertising, you should always make sure that your advert actually advertises your game you're trying to sell. Because an ad is pretty useless otherwise, right? Well, guess what? There are some adverts which don't even do that. How daft is that? I've seen adverts where they show a clip of what is supposedly the game, but then they write in the tiniest font in the bottom corner, this isn't actual gameplay. Well then why are you showing it me? If you want to add cinematic bits and bobs, then that's fine, but you can't make an ad entirely out of things that aren't in your game. And something a lot of ads are guilty of, particularly Rise of Kingdom ads, in an attempt to make the cinematic seem more like legitimate gameplay, they will get an actor to pretend like they are playing the game and then use their horrible chroma key to overlay them on top of the advert. And it wouldn't even be that big of a deal if they didn't make it so obvious. There are ROK adverts where they'll have the same cinematic and the same script but have different people narrating it. Why? What for? Why can't you just have one narrator and leave it at that? Why do you even need a cinematic? Just get them to play the game and record their reaction or something. And you know they really cannot be bothered when the adverts and the narration aren't even describing the same thing. There are adverts where they've either been told to narrate the wrong game or are just too lazy to record another one and you can get adverts which completely contradict each other. And some people will even take the clips from their 99% of people fail adverts and then on top of it put an actor talking about how great they are at this game. How did you guys see nothing wrong with these adverts before publishing them? Goodness me Amber, no wonder you had to steal all my stuff on Halloween. Do you not think that by letting this happen, some random crackhead thief could enter your house, take what he or she wants, and then just leave? If you can't even make an advert that at least makes sense, then there's no chance of you making any money, is there? Now this video is by no means done, but as of right now, I cannot be bothered to make a long video. So instead, I'm going to make this a two-part mini-series. In my next video, I'll be talking about the unrealistic scenarios and environments in some adverts, adverts that apologize for the adverts they make, adverts that try to expose the antics of other adverts, and at the end of the video, I'll combine all the tactics discussed in these videos, and even try and make an advert of my own. So that's coming up. Anyway, see you later.